Avilio. Expecto Patronum! Welcome, wizards, witches, and nomads. My name's David Sicello, and thank you for taking the time out of your day to visit my channel, Wands and Reviews. Issue 3 of the Bradford Exchange Illuminating Patrona Sculpture Collection has appeared right on the heels of Issue 2 that was Hermione Granger. Issue 3 is none other than Harry Potter's best friend, Ronald Weasley. Each of these hand-painted, dynamically posed sculptures are on a base featuring the character's house sigil, and behind each character is a celestial silver-white image of their Patronus that has been laser-etched onto a smoky acrylic back that illuminates from the battery-operated built-in LED lights. Each of these statues measures approximately 5 inches wide and 7.75 inches in height. So let's take a closer look at Ronald Weasley. This Ronald Weasley illuminated Patrona sculpture is extremely characterized as some items from the Bradford Exchange are. But the over-characterization of Ronald Weasley is truly something else. <clears throat> yeah, he's in his standard Hogwarts school uniform, arms crossed, holding a wand with untucked, you know, shirt, which looks great. However, this head sculpt does not resemble Ron Weasley at all. He doesn't even have the trademark Weasley red hair, and unfortunately, he just looks like some random brown-haired Gryffindor student. We all know that when a Patronus charm is cast, it glows with a bright white and blue to a silvery color, and the Bradford Exchange has done just that but not to the extreme like Ron's head sculpt. By inserting three AAA batteries that are not included, you can flip the switch on the back side to make Ron's K9 Patronus light up. The image of a canine appears, and what I think is a nice addition to the light-up feature is that the color changes from white to blue and back again. I'm really glad that the Bradford Exchange did not just put in a static white light and call it finished. For this issue of the Magical Defenders Illuminating Patronus Sculpture Collection subscription series, I am more than a little disappointed with the head sculpt for Ron Weasley. The likeness, even if characterized, is far from the Ron Weasley we know portrayed by Rupert Grant. And as the Bradford Exchange releases future issues of this series, I truly hope that they work on the character sculpts for a better likeness. I am saddened that this is what the head sculpt turned out to be because it's utterly disappointing. I thought the Bradford Exchange strives for quality, but this head sculpt is far, in, even for characterization, it's far from striving for quality. It's just horrendous. But. If you would like to start collecting the Illuminated Magical Defender series, you can purchase it directly from the Bradford Exchange's website, and I'll leave a link in the description below. Disappointing. I hope you enjoyed this video review today. If you did, please click on that thumbs up button, and if you would, why not subscribe to my channel? I really do appreciate it, and remember, 
to share this video with your family and all of your friends. Thank you and have a wonderful day.